Ladies and gentlemen, meet America's new Fallout Boy. Out of the way. Millhouse, baby! Lionel Hutz, your new agent, bodyguard, unauthorized biographer, and drug dealer. Keep her away. Hello, Mr. Hutz. I'll have you know, the contents of that dumpster are private. You stick your nose in, you'll be violating attorney dumpster confidentiality. I just wanted to say hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Um, how about you, Otto? Well, my standards are just too high, you know? My problem is I'm a real user of women. I move in right away and stay until the money's gone. Well, I'm a smart woman, but I make bad choices. I was so we got Okay, here's a set of house keys and my ATM card. So, do you think I have a case? Mrs. Simpson, you're in luck. Your sexual harassment suit is just the thing I need to rebuild my shattered practice. Care to join me in a belt of scotch? It's 9.30 in the morning. Yeah, but I haven't slept in days. Last chance. Oh, yeah. All right, gentlemen, I'll take your case, but I'm going to have to ask for a $1,000 retainer. A $1,000? But your ad says no money down. Oh, they got this all screwed up. So you don't work on a contingency basis? No. Money down. Oops, shouldn't have this bar association logo here either. Now, don't you worry, Mrs. Simpson. I... Uh-oh. We've drawn Judge Snyder. Is that bad? Well, he's had it in for me ever since I kind of ran over his dog. You did? Well, replace the word kinda with the word repeatedly, and the word dog with son. Mm. All you can eat. Huh! Mr. Simpson, this is the most blatant case of fraudulent advertising since my suit against the film The Never-Ending Story. So, do you think I have a case? Homer, I don't use the word hero very often. But you are the greatest hero in American history. Woohoo! Now, Marge, you've come to the right place. By hiring me as your lawyer, you also get this smoking monkey. Better cut down there, Smokey. <laughs> Mr. Hutz. Look, he's taking another puff. Mr. Hutz, this was all a misunderstanding. I didn't mean to take anything. Mr. Burns, we've got witnesses, precedent, and a paper trail a mile long. Yes, well, I have ten high-priced lawyers. <laughs> He left his briefcase. Hey, it's full of shredded newspapers. Now, Apu, Mrs. Simpson claims that she forgot she was carrying that bottle of delicious bourbon, brownest of the brown liquors. So tempting. What's that? You want me to drink you, but I'm in the middle of a trial. Excuse me. Hello, David. I'm really tempted. Just take it one day at a time and know that I love you. I love you too, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to prove to you not only that Freddie Quimby is guilty, but that he is also innocent of not being guilty. I refer you to my expert witness, Dr. Hibbert. Well, only one in two million people has what we call the evil gene. Hitler had it. Walt Disney had it. And Freddie Quimby has it. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Hibbert. I rest my case. You rest your case? What? Oh, no, I thought that was just a figure of speech. Case closed. My client's film predates all of those things, Your Honor. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. Your famous film, the one you destroyed before the trial and haven't been able to find another copy of. Oh, yes, that film. Yes. You don't have a copy, do you? I intend to prove that Freddie Quimby is totally innocent. First of all, his accuser is a very shady character. That waiter, Mr. Lacoste, not only wasn't born in Springfield, 
He wasn't even born in this country. <gasps> From now on, you tell me everything. So, Mr. Nahasapima Petalon, if that is your real name, have you ever forgotten anything? No. Well, if you never forget anything, tell me this. What color tie am I wearing? You are wearing a red and white striped club tie in a half Windsor knot. Oh, I am, am I? Is that what you think? Well, if that is what you think, I have something to tell you. <coughs> something that may shock and discredit you. <coughs> And that thing is as follows. I'm not wearing a tie at all. <gasps> Do you have any evidence at all? Well, Your Honor, we've got plenty of hearsay and conjecture. Those are kinds of evidence. Your Honor, I move for dismissal. I move for a bad court thingy. You mean a mistrial? Yeah. That's why you're the judge and I'm the law-talking guy. The lawyer. Right. And so, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I rest my case. Hmm. Mr. Hutz, do you know you're not wearing any pants? What? Ah! Mrs. Simpson, what did you and your husband do after you were ejected from the restaurant? We pretty much went straight home. Mrs. Simpson, you're under oath. We drove around until 3 a.m. looking for another all-you-can-eat fish restaurant. And when you couldn't find one? We went fishing. <laughs> Did these sound like the actions of a man who had all he could eat? No! That could have been me! Now, Mr. Lampwick, when Roger Myers stole your character... Objection. Sustained. If I hear objection and sustain one more time today, I think I'm going to scream. Objection. Sustained. The foreman will pass the verdict to the bailiff. This verdict is written on a cocktail napkin. And it still says guilty. And guilty is spelled wrong. Eat. Will the foreman please read the real verdict? We find the defendant guilty. Do I still get paid? I'd like to call all of my surprise witnesses again. No further questions. Mr. Simpson, I was just going through your garbage, and I couldn't help overhearing that you need a babysitter. Of course, being a highly skilled attorney, my fee is $175 an hour. We pay $8 for the night, and you can take two popsicles out of the freezer. Three. Two. Okay, two, and I get to keep this old birdcage. Done. Still got it. Homer, are you all right? No. Mr. Simpson, don't you worry. I watched Matlock in a bar last night. The sound wasn't on, but I think I got the gist of it. Oh, sure. Like lawyers work in big skyscrapers and have secretaries. <laughs> Look at him. He's wearing a belt. That's Hollywood for you. But first, some ground rules. Number one, we get bathroom breaks every half hour. Agreed. Number two, the jury will be chosen by me. Agreed. No, wait. Silence! Mr. Hutz, when I grow up, I want to be a lawyer just like you. Good for you, son. If there's one thing America needs, it's more lawyers. Can you imagine a world without lawyers? Oh. Hey, it's morning and Mom and Dad aren't home yet. Don't worry, Mr. Hutz is still here to take care of us. <laughs> Don't touch my stuff! Hey, this isn't the YMCA. Kids, I got a crazy feeling your mom's not going to prison. Yay! That was a right pretty speech, sir. But I ask you, what is a contract? Webster's defines it as an agreement under the law which is unbreakable. Which is unbreakable. Excuse me, I must use the restroom. Mr. Hutz? Mr. Hutz, why are you burning all your personal papers? As of this moment, Lionel Hutz no longer exists. 
Say hello to Miguel Sanchez.